What's the last thing you bought on sale? There is a high chance it was a fun product. How do sales change what you buy? This is the University of the Netherlands. Buy one, get one free. For sale, 50% off. In supermarkets, clothing stores, or while shopping online, we're constantly seduced by price promotions to make our purchases. Do promotions make you buy different products? Do you always feel ha happy buying on promotion? Have you ever felt angry because of a discount? And what do you do at home with the food that you bought on promotion? Does it end up in the trash bin? In this lecture, I will tell you how price promotions affect shopping behavior and the impact of price promotions on one of the most pressing global sustainability challenge, food waste. First things first, a price promotion is more than just an economic incentive to purchase. When you encounter a promotion, it has an effect on you as a consumer. Most of the time, you may not be aware of it, and sometimes even the retailer will not anticipate this effect. I will talk about two effects of price promotions that will show you they're not simply monetary savings. Let me start with the first one. How price promotions can change the way consumers think and choose products. Here the idea is price promotions can make a telling emotional impact. How? When we encounter price promotions, we spend less time considering different options. And this has consequences for our product choices. In other words, price promotions dump down our decision-making process. It's almost like a potion for stupidity. When an item is on sale, we act more quickly and with less thought than if the product is sold at a regular price. As a result, our purchase decisions are guided by our emotions. And this shifts our preferences towards products that are more fun and pleasurable instead of those that are functional and useful. In one of our experiments, we ask participants to purchase a snack. They had to make a choice between a fun, pleasurable, chocolate bar and the functional, healthful granola bar. Half the time, the snacks were priced at their original price. And half the other time, they were sold at 50% discounts. We found that the chocolate bar was purchased a lot more than the granola bar when both bars were on promotion compared to when they were sold at their original price. In other words, promotion increased the choice share of the chocolate bar. This means that price promotion increases the tendency of consumers to prefer pleasurable, unhealthy products over utilitarian, healthy products. So the effect is not only limited to food products. We also analyze click-through and purchase data from a company that sells daily deals on a variety of services, such as restaurants, nail salons, outdoor activities, cleaning services, for a limited time at substantially reduced prices. We looked at how much time people take to click on a deal and what their end purchase is. And we found that consumers are quicker in clicking on deals that offer a higher discount than deals with lower discounts. So deeper discounts speed up the consumer's purchase decision. What about the type of deal purchased? We found that the larger the discount, the more likely the consumers purchase deals for products with higher emotional content. For example, a tandem skydive deal as opposed to a dry cleaning deal. 
To sum up, price promotions make us act more quickly and go for more pleasurable products. But can certain promotional strategies backfire? For this, we look at promotional favors. What are these? The firm requests a favor from the consumer and offers a discount in return. These types of promotions are in fact quite common. For example, you get a discount if you complete a customer survey, or if you make a referral, or if you post a review, or if you tweet about the company. Here, the goal of the firm is to motivate consumers to perform certain tasks by offering rewards in return. But can the tactic backfire? How do consumers respond to promotional favors? To learn more about this, we conducted a field experiment at a large supermarket. As customers entered the store, they were handed flyers offering 5% instant discount on their purchase. Unknown to them, there were three different versions of the flyer. The first one was the standard discount condition. And it said, get 5% off on all groceries. The second flyer version said, fill out a 10 minute survey and get 5% off on all groceries. And the third one said, fill out a 20 minute survey and get 5% off on all groceries. So the customers shopped as normal. And once they finished their shopping, they filled out the survey and received the discount voucher, which they redeemed at the cash register. When we analyzed their receipts, we observed that customers who saw the promotional favor spent less than customers who saw the standard discount. Why is this happening? Why are consumers reacting in such a way in response to promotional favors? Well, we think that consumers are attracted to promotional favors by the opportunity to save money, yet irritated by the demand imposed on them. In other words, these favor requests threaten their sense of freedom. The impulse is to reject the offer, so not fill out the survey. But doing so implies sacrificing the savings, the 5% discount. So what do they do? They accept the offer, but aggress towards the firm. It's like they punish the firm by limiting their spending. That is, they go for cheaper options and they buy less. So far, I focused on how price promotions influence consumers' purchase decisions. But what about their impact beyond purchase? Do they influence the way consumers use and dispose of products? For this, I would like to tell you an experience I had a couple of years ago. I was doing my weekly grocery shopping at my local supermarket and I put a 500 grams box of blueberries in my shopping cart. At the checkout, the cashier told me that the blueberries were on promotion and I could get another same box of blueberries for free. Wow, that's a great deal, I thought. At the same time, I thought, how can I possibly eat or want to eat one kilo of blueberries in a week before they go bad? the second box will probably end up in the trash bin. So I chose not to have the free box of blueberries, which quite surprised the cashier. After all, who would not take the second unit that comes with a buy one, get one free deal? As a scientist studying price promotions, this episode made me think about the role of price promotions in sustainable consumption. More specifically, the question of, do promotions make us waste food? There is a popular assumption that retailers encourage over-purchasing through discounts 
and multi-buy deals such as the famous buy one, get one free. Supermarkets face criticism for these marketing tactics because they lure shoppers into buying more than they can realistically consume, therefore contribute to food waste. But is this intuition accurate? What does the data say? So we conducted a large scale field study in which households were asked a week after their purchase about their usage and waste behavior for eight perishable food products that were sold either at regular price or at a discount or on a multi-buy. In the survey, we asked questions such as whether the product was consumed, whether it was stored for future consumption, and whether any of it was thrown away. What did we find? The results were quite surprising and counterintuitive. Contrary to popular belief, discounted and multi-buy purchases did not lead to increased food waste. In fact, households that purchased under multi-buys wasted less than households that purchased at regular prices. So what did these households do with the extra food if they didn't let it spoil and throw it away? The data suggests that these households took more waste preventive actions, such as eating more or storing more for future consumption by, for example, freezing parts of the food. In other words, larger than usual quantities bought on multi-buys may have raised the salience of the product, making households more concerned about waste. And this may have triggered more waste preventive behaviors. So, how do price promotions change your decisions as a buyer? I have talked about three types of impact. First, price promotions can cause you to make more impulsive and fast buying decisions, leading to more pleasurable product purchases. Second, a business shouldn't request too much favor in return for a discount, or the consumer might punish the store by spending less. And third, while one would expect that over purchasing through price promotions such as buy one get one freeze would lead to food waste, consumers surprisingly plan what they do with the food and actually waste less. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.